similar to the way it was portrayed in Shakespeare's play. The flowers, clothing, and surroundings of the figure of Ophelia all serve to tell the story of her descent into madness and ultimate death. The painting not only brings the story to life but also allows for further interpretation and analysis of the symbolism, making it a valuable representation of the play. In Shakespeare's timeless play Hamlet, one of the most fascinating characters is Ophelia. Her descent into madness and subsequent death is a pivotal moment in the play and is often depicted with symbols and imagery to emphasize the emotions and themes. Ophelia's madness is characterized by the flowers she is surrounded by, each one representing different emotions and sentiments. For example, the willow symbolizes forsaken love, nettles growing in its branches represent pain, daisies near her hand signify innocence, and a chain of violets around her neck is associated with faithfulness, chastity, and untimely death. The poppies also symbolize death, and other flowers floating in the water are linked to sorrow. On the bank, forget-me-nots serve as a request to not forget Ophelia. The pink roses that float by Ophelia's cheek in her dress and the white rose growing on the river bank symbolize youth, love, and beauty. The purple loose strife alludes to long purples in the play. Crow flowers in the foreground symbolize ingratitude or childishness. Fritillary floating between the dress and the water's edge symbolizes Ophelia's sorrow. The metasweet flowers signify the lack of purpose or uselessness of Ophelia's death. The pansies that float on the dress in the center also mean love in vain. The use of symbols and imagery in Shakespeare's play Hamlet is a powerful tool to enhance the emotions and themes of the play. The symbolism of the flowers surrounding Ophelia highlights her descent into madness and her ultimate death, making her one of the most memorable characters in the play.